Also shown a lot of good standings in Magic. It's just that he converted to uh, playing Flesh and Blood recently, so mm. he hasn't been playing a lot of Magic. But we'll see how Monty fares. Yeah, people here are no slouch either. Because uh, Im imagine training with the greats. You're gonna become a great yourself. That's so, uh, true. That's true. That's why if you want to become great, go to top the games here at Grand Central. Yeah, Third baby, floor. home of the champs. Home of Let's the go. champions. <laughs> we have so many tops here at top the games. Vanguard, Waste, Magic. So, yeah, ano pa pang baby. card game ang gusto niyo? Ano pang we'll... card game gusto niyo mag top, baby? Punta lang kayo dito. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. Uh, Craig, going first. And putting the lands in front. Oh my god, is this gonna be Carlo <laughs> all over again? <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. And I don't know what card Monty played. <laughs> I, don't I too don't know what that card is. But it's gonna be a surprise for both of us, Musoy. <laughs> we're, we're just gonna Buzz rumble on. on. <laughs> More land. <laughs> More. <laughs> Here we go, Plaza of Champions. Yes, into a. I can't read what that is. <laughs> That's a uh, something like a dress. Oh, they are dress or something. The oil, something I believe. Yeah. Ooh, here we go. Removing the answers for um removing removing Monty's cards. A usual thing for Black to do discarding is always a good thing because mm -hmm. you remove your opponent's uh, things. They want to play with and they need to draw into it again that is true so i believe the uh black white sacrifice deck that monty is running uh is somewhat of a combo ish mm -hmm. deck mm -hmm. so removing one of the core pieces for them is gonna be hard yeah especially needing combo pieces huh yeah <laughs> craig here bit reading of the cards reading of the cards and showing that he is very uh meticulous meticulous yeah writing it in paper because you're not allowed to carry anything else in mm -hmm. uh regionals or even big tournaments that's true yeah. that's Show true showing his age <laughs> in the game in the game in the game in the game right. that's uh, again a very disciplined player he knows how to uh is that, that thrushes the black creature the one that uh, does a uh, gain uh, that does uh, gain two, lose two life if a creature your opponent or you control. Yeah, I think it is, and I think those are fanatical offerings. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's the I think that's the that's the slug or the maggot thing that binds it. Oh, that uh, binds. Yeah, that's true. That excels it under it. Excels it. Under yeah, it. yeah, I haven't seen that card much, but uh, pretty good actually for Craig. I mean, considering Craig. Is undefeated, I think, at the moment. Mm. Mm. So that yeah, means yeah. the deck is working. That that's correct. S let's see how it goes from here. We monte it, sana. Anong nagbesenger man ka? Unya na nang uyab uyab and oh, it has a life link. Okay. Boy, monte. <laughs> Getting card information from the person behind. <laughs> Another, another ooh, one. Another one. Show me the, <laughs> show me your hand cards. Show me the money. Yeah, Monty. Monty, Monty can the money. is not allowed to play. That's fanatical offering. Mm -hmm. Now that I know, <laughs> because I see it in Popper. See it in Popper. Yeah, I think that's a Thrashus. I just forgot his name, but I do know it has a uh, drain effect. Yeah, <laughs> let me see Thrashus. Can we check it out? Thrashus. No, it's not Triton Hero. No, it's not Thrashus. What's his name again? I, I also forgot. Really sorry, guys. But yeah, we'll just try to... Uh, we'll just see what the game is happening. Yeah, this is the... Uh, this is the good thing about Rogue decks because even the casters don't know what's happening. <laughs> so it's gonna be a surprise for all of us. Here at Top the Games <laughs> Store Champs. But let me see if there's any shell that yeah, is trying to check, follow. Check. Black white. 
Dark White Sacrifice uh, Standard. Let me see if this works. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, yeah, it's Fairy Dream Thief. Uh, Vito, I think that's Vito. No, that's not Vito. I believe it's a guy from uh, Phyrexia. It's uh, a, I believe, I do know that it's a drain card. I just forgot its name. Can we try checking uh, Goldfish? Yeah, you can try checking yeah, Goldfish. Yeah, it says Goldfish. checking there oh but craig having two of those maggots no that's pioneer oh pioneer i'm sorry having two maggots basically ripping monty's hand uh, i don't think monty has any more things to play in his turn yeah skip basically yeah, skipping he's the just skipping the turn i think he uh lacks land drops here 2022 method deck Standard, yeah, here we go. Standard, so, um, so yeah, we're not really seeing much cards here. Yeah. I don't know, Vran, that's his name, Vran, not Thran. Ah, Vran, the executioner, yeah, okay. So, if you look at the different version, uh, that's the one on Monty's hand, but why is he not casting it? That, oh, wait, I think he only has white source. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Ang lands. <laughs> <laughs> Young yeah, lands. It's I, black and white. <laughs> I don't like the black and white lands. It's too annoying. You can't, you can't tell. And, ooh, here we go. Cycling the land. That's, uh, forgot the names. The, basically, the triumphs. I think that's Rafinha. Yeah. Rafin triumph. And drawing into more lands. But, ooh, a virtue of loyalty here in Greg's hand. That's going to be super powerful. Basically creating tokens mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, the just giving them gaining, counters, yeah. gaining life. Monty not yeah. being able to play anything because Craig just basically uh, ripping his hand out. That's a that's stoop. another one. Another one? Is there another one? Oh yeah, another one, Monty. Oh no, Monty is not allowed to play here. <laughs> Monty, wala tayong gas gas dito. <laughs> Monty not being I feel bad for Monty man not just being allowed to play swamp. <laughs> just let him draw his swamp Craig. Monty is so bad I feel bad for Monty that's the I think that's the issue with standard or even magic in general to be honest because lands are so important mm -hmm. but that's that just shows how the game is still loved by the people mm. I mean imagine people have been playing magic since when and then until now it's still there even though the man mana screw and everything yeah, else mana screw really and sucks, drought. Mm -hmm. uh people just play still play it because they know it's the most competitive card game out there yeah that's true that's second true. to poker maybe <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah i think we're seeing the issues with having multiple colors in your deck yeah because if you don't run dual lands you don't run dual lands this is gonna be an issue like it's gonna, it's gonna feel bad so, Greg basically just removing anything that has a white and in it. <laughs> see, Monty's just passing the turn. And yeah, no, can't be ah, okay. not allowed to play another. Uh, yeah, Virtue. We, we have a Virtue. I think at this point, Monty, you should just yeah, scoop. I think it's just for you to scoop once. Just save the game for next round. Uh, there's really nothing wrong with scooping at the moment. Yeah, I mean, it's very ahead. With mana, board state, cards in hand. <laughs> cards in hand, yeah. It just feels bad, man. Craig basically just not allowing him to do anything, to be honest, because he just removed everything that has white in it, not allowing Monty to play them. Yeah. Woo, here we go. Attacking with everything, blocking with the... Uh, I don't know who that is, but... Oh, it's a 1-3. I think that's a bottle gnome or something. A gnome or something. 
I don't think bottle no is legal. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's that's a legacy card. Yeah. <laughs> but something gnome. I know that Ixalan has gnomes that has gained life something. See, look at that. Look at that virtue, man. Yeah, the virtue. Just giving power giving to value. everything. Ponte is giving another turn. I don't know what is happening. Oh my god. The virtue of <laughs> the maggot here just removes Sheesh. everything that Monty could have done. To be honest here, Monty should have just scooped a yeah. turn earlier. He, just, he should have just scooped a turn earlier. The moment I saw the, the uh, what do you call that again? The virtue? Mm. And that's a yeah, skitter. Skitters. Uh, no, that, that's, is that the Lord Skitters or the Butcher? Yeah. Oh, no, that's, that's Lord Skitter. Skitter. Yeah, that's Lord Skitter. And everything's gonna attack. Block again. Block again. Multi. It's just looking bad, man. Just Taking. scoop the game. I'm so sorry, man. Taking as, six. Much as, I, as much as I wanna root for you. Yeah, I mean, magic is the best of three. Sometimes... You win some, you lose some. You win some, you lose some. I think that's the... I think that's what an issue I see from new players. Or newer players, I mean. Mm -hmm. They don't know when to scoop. Scooping yeah. is a skill. That is true. Scooping is a skill. And it also lessens your mental burden too, man. Mm -hmm. You need to know when to scoop, how to sideboard properly, mm -hmm. and then mental reset. If you would like to support this channel, check out our website at topdeckph.com. He's gonna put ah, putting more bottom. Okay, mm -hmm. down to six. Craig, keeping a fresh seven. Ooh, top land for the, again, the... Something no one drop no one drop no. I think that's a one three. Yeah, one three. I, I forgot the name, but it's the it's from Ixalan. And the swamp. Here we Bradley, go. Finally, let's go. And Bartolomeo something something mm -hmm. uh, Spanish names. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bartolomeo Eduardo <laughs> Suaves. <laughs> from my perspective, it looks like Craig has a lot of cards. <laughs> See, yeah, that's seven cards, right? Seven cards. Seven cards. Uh, and I think it's gonna be an easy um, virtue of loyalty here for Craig. Mm -hmm. Make that token, Craig. At least, at least Monty is now allowed to play going first. Going first is so much advantage, to be honest. That's correct. I mean, in most matchups, you would love to go first. Mm -hmm. to be Even Control would want to go first from time to time. Yeah, because. The issue with um, going second, especially for control, is that you can no lo you're usually one mana late yeah. to answer their cards. That is correct. Here we go. Uh, yeah, hey, finally three lands. <laughs> Attacking virtue what of loyalty. Like I said, it's gonna block the virtue. Uh, it's gonna block Bartolomeo, but does he though? Oh, he doesn't. He just flashes it in. Oh, oh, it's gonna block. be blocking it. Barto. Bartolome, I'm sorry, Bartolome. Bartolome de Presidio. So, it's a um, Atog, I believe. I'm yeah, like, it's like an Atog. Yeah, it's an Atog. <laughs> Ooh, and blocking it, not allowing it to grow, but why did it? Oh, even if he sacks it, it still, still dies. Yeah, it still it dies. Too. And this is a. <laughs> yeah, that's from Ixalan as well. I uh, know. Yeah, Ixalan. Ixalan too. A lot of Ixalan cards here from Monty. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. I think this is Vito. I uh, know no. That's not Vito. No, it's not Vito. Oh no, I don't even know. Or is it a... Yeah, it's so hard to guess the card's name. <laughs> well, Craig, you're taking his time. No, I don't think it's Amalia. Is it creature? No, not a creature. 
It's already dead. Yeah, it's already dead. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Craig here just making sure to answer all those cards because uh, the um the play with sack they usually just put it all in one creature. Mm -hmm. So as long as you answer it. As long as they answer that one creature, they usually don't have anything else. Mm -hmm. That's correct. It's so weird. Yeah, we can't. Uh, this is a fresh brew from Monty. So yeah, we don't know much of the cards, to be honest. Yeah, Market Gnome. Here Market we go. Gnome. That's the card. That's I knew it card. was a gnome. I just forgot the name. Someone was also looking for clay fire bricks earlier too. Try checking that. That one. Yeah, I mean, I think just the power, the sheer power of Craig's cards here being shown. Those, so yeah, being able to play into two virtues, wow. Yep, getting two virtues in and then playing your virtues afterwards, it's gonna be pretty bad. Cut down. There we go. Forgot. Cut down on one of the creatures just to get back one of those cards. Is that a schooner on be behind that card? I think Craig wants to have access to the schooner. So it's uh, cut down kills a creature with total power and toughness five. five. So it doesn't matter if it becomes big later on because it was already targeted. targeted. That's the glare. <laughs> Can I ask him to turn off the lights? Yeah, it's one of those new crap cards from Ixalan. much the schooner uh is now back online due mm -hmm. to uh craig cutting down the creature mm -hmm. and i think schooner is now going to help with looting craig's hand with the free explorers schooner is actually one of the cards that is currently hyping up in standard or even uh, right now in Ixalan. yeah what do you think about it in other formats mm, i don't know i haven't really played most of the other formats, the formats that I've only played is so far Pioneer, Modern, mm -hmm. Standard as of now, and EDH. So, but I do know that people are liking the card. Uh, there's also been very weird uh, uh, complaints coming from the Japanese. Really? About Schooner? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. There has been some complaints from the Japanese. So, I believe someday it might, it might have a breakthrough, but... I, I can't really predict it. Yeah, I think Schooner is actually a second coming of the copter. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's because it's coming a copter because it's a uh three four for two two, two mana. Mm -hmm. Although it uses blue. But mm -hmm. man, it loots for it, it loots, loots it makes a creature big. Yeah. Yeah, so, the fact that it's three four. Yeah, is the fact that the Japanese are complaining about it. I mean, these guys don't usually complain about that. Yeah. It's something to look out for. Mm -hmm. um, so buy out the schooners. <laughs> <laughs> buy out your schooners like Doc Pao buying out the copters. <laughs> and go for the throat here. Go for the throat. Mm -hmm. 
Is Greg? that a Denik? Yeah, I believe that's Denik. Oh, uh, yeah, I believe it's Denik. So Craig here just taking it a slow, mm-hmm. making sure to control uh, Monty's board and the gnome, market gnome here, helping Craig by basically, I mean, Mon- helping Monty by basically mocking all those attacks. And here we go, the virtue of loyalty, do, 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 do. making everything big plus and BP untapping them. They're so basically, all of them are basically vigilance now. <laughs> Yeah, because they untap so creatures you control get attack this turn or creatures you control get plus one plus one and if they attack this turn untap oh. yeah it's gonna be super big it's gonna be hard for monty to keep on answering that board he needs to remove them otherwise they just become unlimited become super super big untap those creatures it doesn't even have to attack yeah wow so that's gonna be a 3 3 samurai is gonna become a 4 4 samurai. It's gonna be so big and big and big. So, oh no, Monkey doesn't have a hand card. Doesn't have a hand card. He doesn't have any way to answer the board at the moment. I think Greg has a better board here. Yeah, that Ooh, is and I th- getting rid of the Denik. Getting rid of Denik, okay. Exiling it. I, th- I think that's the sacrifice one. And I- but still, the samurai is super big. It can kill the market gnome now. Yeah. It's now 3-3. Three, three. And ooh, is that a... It's the black... The black-blue land? Or the black... It's a it's blue-white. Black blue. It's a black-blue. It's a black-blue. Ah, black-blue. Yeah. What does it do again? Still on, yeah. Yes, he's on. Lost caverns. Oh, here he is. Restless Reef. Ah, uh, comes a four. four oh, mills four cards. It becomes a black, black blue shark token with death touch. Yeah, actually, it'd be very good to play that because it's a four. Yeah, but four. I don't think no, I don't think it's the black blue. I think it's the white. I think it's white. Oh, or is it this one? That's the one. I think it's Anchorage. Yeah, it looks like Anchorage. Oh yeah, actually, now that you say it, I think it is Anchorage. The. Uh... Yep, it's the yeah, wrestler it's the is flying, so it's flying. Monty can't answer it, and Anchorage un- untapping before becoming a land. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, wow. They both happen at end step. Yeah, they both happen at end step, so the Craig has the choice here on what happens first. Mm-hmm. Yep, making it big. Explore, haha. <laughs> Keeping it on top. It's a safe choice. Yeah, so uh, he has a map token. So this is already the main phase two of Craig, making that anchorage bigger. So yeah, I think Craig here is gonna untap the land first before it becomes a land. Yep, here we go. And it becomes a land now. So he has Three lands, a uh, oh, fine way to cheat mana. <laughs> After it just attacked. Super rough for Monty here. Looking bad actually, I mean, even though Monty already has the lands that he wanted, I mean, one, he doesn't really have much to cast. Yeah, I think has just been removing the cards he has on field at play after play after play. Yeah, basically not giving Monty any chance mm-hmm. to play his uh play his cards because as a sacrifice deck you need something to sacrifice. And mm-hmm. Craig is basically saying no you don't get to sacrifice anything. So that's that's it, why it's becoming harder for Monty. And if Monty even wanted to sacrifice the market dome, it means that he won't have a blocker so he kind of was kind of forced to keep it and here we go exiling another card yep it's the pay for or sacrifice one to exile it
But yeah, the Anchorage now is just gonna beat them up. Yeah, just gonna beat down Monty. Beat down Monty. Here we go. Attacking again. Yeah, the man lands here, showing full strength, creating a map token, using the map token again. And I think this is what Craig is just gonna do until Monty scoops the game, or if Monty is able to draw into something that can turn the tides. Yep, draw into the card. He has no choice. But does he play it though? I would rather keep it to cycle. Yeah, I too would keep it to cycle. Yeah, that is a free cycle to be honest. Because again, your land on tops, but hmm. Yep, here we go. Untap and forgot the counter. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a free cycle for Craig here. Easy cycle. I mean, he's got nothing but lands on the field right now. I think that's the guy that's called spinning out gold. Spinning out gold, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Craig here reading the cards as well. <laughs> Making sure that he's not missing anything. Uh, Monty passing the turn and I think yeah I think that's just the uh, cycle card but what do you do here is the question but again the Anchorage has flying so Craig is just can just pump out damage mm -hmm. that is true and is that a wedding announcement wow so more draws for Craig Uh, wedding announcement in the virtual field that's just gonna be valuable yeah so much value so wedding announcement into the anchorage amazing oh is that flying oh he's flying the guy Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. And, but it's not that touch so craig is then scared And creating another map token, <laughs> yeah, Monty is just not having a break here. Mm -hmm. Craig with the back-to-back -back pressure, and oh my god, back go go for the throat is also in hand. So I think Craig here is just gonna keep it in the O oh, at hand here, and that's the uh, that's a black blue man man. Here we go. I think that's the gonna be the wedding announcement play. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. that virtue yep into the virtue so creates a token and taps and plus one plus one yeah mm -hmm. showing pure discipline play here he knows the rules of the game that land is just gonna get bigger and bigger i don't think monty has a way to block it i don't think monty has a way to block it i mean that anchorage has been attacking for free so much. It's, it's basically winning him the game right now, to be honest. Fanatical offering, but I think it's a little too late. Yeah. <laughs> what do you even do with the map token, to be honest? Mm -hmm. Is Deadly Dispute still legal? Deadly Dispute, that's an AFR. Oh, AFR. Okay, it's no longer legal. I would have wanted to see both fanatical offering and deadly dispute in the same <laughs> standard set but huh yeah that makes sense so i think craig here has the game in the bag and unless monty is able to draw into something that can kill the anchorage at instant speed still has like 21 health to take down Monty. Yeah, that's right. But at least he won't lose yet. Scry one? Okay. Didn't draw two? No, into another fanatical offering. Jeez. I feel so bad for Monty here. I have the deck the deck's just not playing or Craig's just preventing the deck from yeah, I think Craig's uh, the Craig just so many has so many answers that it's not allowing Monty to play. Yeah, map token here. I think Monty just looking for answers here, but 
To be honest, I don't see anything that he can possibly draw now. Another land. Oh no, it's Skitterix. It's Skitters. Wood Skitter? Yeah, it's Skitters. I mean, yeah, it's not gonna help him, to be honest. Accurate is flying, so... And he's not gonna draw it anyways. Yeah, he's not gonna draw it anyways. We're gonna send it to the graveyard. Okay. Attacking for three with the map because of the map token exploring, but again, yeah, just take it. Mm -hmm. I think, I think, yeah, Craig has it in the in the bag. He's just gonna need to He's attack with accuracy. Yeah, He's just gonna have to animate accuracy. Draw, <laughs> yeah, draw one, and Craig can even flex here and go for the throat <laughs> before attacking. Before attacking. Yeah, here we go. Accurate for the win. Attacking. It's just making sure that the place that he does it there. And he that Monty, I'll bring the shake hands. Yeah, the shake hands, Craig, for the win.